Hey everyone, welcome to the 29th Easy Excel tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. Today I want to introduce to you the index match functions. Uh, the index match function is actually a combination of two separate functions, the index function and the match function. Uh, and I believe in order to fully grasp what they can do together, you must first learn how they work individually. So I'll quickly go over what each of the functions do and then we'll combine them later and to do uh, both an approximate and an exact lookup. The index function is actually very easy. It takes uh, it takes your parameters and it returns the value at an intersection of a column and a row. So that's all really. So if you have the column and the row, you can extract some data. So let's say we're looking at column A. We want to get what's on row five. It'll be this thirty-seven thousand four hundred fifty-one. If we're looking at a specific array from B three to B nine, and we want to get something from row five, it'll be this thirty-three percent because it's five down. So let's quickly practice. So we'll do index. We're looking at the array, comma, and let's see. We want something from row three. Just two parameters. We don't need the third or the fourth parameter, the column number or the area number. Thirty-seven thousand four hundred fifty-one. Right, makes sense. Index. Looking at the array again, comma. This time row four, ninety thousand seven hundred fifty-one. Makes sense. Index array, comma, and row six. 411,501. So that's all it takes. If you know the column and the row, you know the answer. Let's cover match. Match function is also pretty easy by itself. Uh, it takes two main parameters. The first is the lookup value, so we'll be using the lookup value in this column. And the second is the lookup array, which we'll be using from this table here. We're only going to be working with one column, and I'll explain why later on. Uh, the purpose of the match function is that it ret returns the row number that that value is on. So let's say I'm looking for 53,164 we know that it's going to fall under 3 just by looking at it and we want the match function to return 3 that's our goal uh, it also takes an, uh, an optional third parameter which determines if it's an exact or an approximate lookup the reason that this is better than VLOOKUP is that it allows you to select both less than and greater than values by default it's 1 which means it's selecting less than same as VLOOKUP so let's practice this one let's do match Let's just look at the description for a second. It returns the relative position of an item. It's just going to return the row number. So the lookup value is 53,164, comma. Let's do the lookup array, which is this column, comma. And we have three third option parameters, which is uh, three options, less than, exact, match, or greater than. Uh, by default, it's less than, so if you want to do less than, you don't need a third option, but I'm going to put it in here anyway. Exact match will cover, and greater than, so you can have something that's greater than as well. Let's do that. Uh, like I said, just by looking at it, we know that it's going to fall under row three. I put the row uh, numbers here just as a reference point, comma, and we get row three. Easy, right? So this is the number we'll be feeding into the index value because remember the index value wants a column. We'll tell it the column. We'll tell it, give it the column array, and we need to somehow extract the row number, and that's what ma that's where match com match function comes into play. Let's just do one more match. I'm on the lookup value is this. Whoops. Oh yeah, nice. Let's just do this, comma. Uh, we'll select this array. I'm going to do F4 for relative referencing, and I'm not going to do the third option, which is the match type, because I know it's going to be less than. And it's on row 1. Right. Easy. And this is on row 3. Yes. Row 3. Yes. This is on row 4, which is above this, and this is row 3. Easy. Right. There we go. Ready to combine them? Let's combine them. So I set up both an approximate and an, and an exact lookup value uh, exercise. Uh, these are similar to what we did in VLOOKUP. And because it's similar to VLOOKUP, we should get the exact same value. So if you want to double check your work, you can do it there as well. So here what we have is uh, three columns. Uh, we will ignore person ID for now. Uh, we're going to look at John Doe's income level and get the tax rate out of this table here. So let's do it. So index. 
So the array we're looking at is the value we want to extract. Right? So we want to get the percentages from this table here, from I3 to I9. That's what we want to display because index is used to extract the value. So we'll just do F4, make sure it's relatively make sure it's absolutely referenced. Comma. And now it's looking for a row number. If I put in three, there'll be 25%, and that is correct, right? Let's just do three. Look, I got the answer, right? But that's not that's the easy way to do it. Can't always do it. So if I go down, it's gonna be also 25%, and that's not what we want. So we'll use the match function to dynamically get the row number from this column here. So we'll do match within uh, the index function as the second parameter of the index function. The lookup value we're looking at is this level, uh, the 52,000, comma. The lookup array we're looking at is this. We want to make sure it's absolutely referenced, so we'll do F4. And the match type is going to be uh, less than. We don't need this parameter, but I'm going to put it here anyway. Uh, and let's close up the parentheses. And this is what the this is what the formula looks like. So index, the first parameter of index is what we want to extract. The second parameter of index is an entire match function, and the match function contains two main parameters: what we're looking up and where we're looking at to compare to get the row number. So if I press enter, it should still give me 25% if I did this correctly. 25%, right? Easy? I think it's pretty easy. I'm just going to skip down here. I'm going to do this one more time just to show you. Uh, again, the array we're looking at that we're looking to extract is from this column. F4. Row number we're looking at, we're going to get from the match function. We're looking at this value. And the lookup value is in this little table here, F4. I'm not going to close it. Let's close up both parentheses and 28%. Yes. Easy. I'm just going to autofill all the way down. And if you want, you can double check my work, but I promise you this is all correct. Don't let the formula scare you. It looks uh, heavy, but it's not. Once you get used to it, it's actually really useful. Uh, one advantage that index match lookup has over VLOOKUP is that you can actually do uh, a right to left lookup. So if I had the tax rate and I want to look up which income level they needed to be, I can do that as well. I can do a left to right lookup because we're looking at individual columns, not an entire array of columns with multiple with, with multiple columns. We're just combine we're comparing one column to another. That's all. So you can do left to right, right to left, easy. One more. So now we're going to do the index match exact uh, lookup. Uh, we did this with VLOOKUP as well, uh, where we're looking at person IDs, and we need to make sure that the person ID is exact. We don't. Need, we can't have something that's approximate. It'll give us. It'll give us an error. So the extracting names. Let's practice index match. The array we're looking at again. Remember, we want to get the data from this parameter. So we'll select the 30 names. I'll do F4 for absolute referencing, comma, and now we need the row number, which is which we're gonna get match. I mean, if I type it in properly, so match the lookup value. We're looking at the troublemaker IDs, comma, the lookup array. It'll be person IDs, right? F4 because the row number of this value is going to be from this little parameter here and comma we need to do an exact lookup right an exact match so I'm just going to type in zero there should be two closed parentheses there we go Jane Doe 451236 easy I'll go down here and do this one more time just to practice because I know it can be a little overwhelming just to see all the all the cell values and the two different functions. The lookup value is this, comma, and the lookup array is this, comma. And we want an exact lookup. There you go. William Stryker, 197. There you go. 197382. That's right. Let's just do autofill. Should be the same as uh, the V lookup answers. So if you want to test yourself, you can use both. Uh, if these Columns were flipped, so if the names were on 
column one and column A and person IDs run column two, index match will still work as long as you input the data properly. Well, there you go. Index match is actually really strong. Uh, a lot of people who have used Excel for a long time using lookup values prefer index match because it's because it's a lot more flexible than VLOOKUP, but you're free to use VLOOKUP, you're free to use whichever lookup function you want, but I think it's good to know all of them. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer. If you want me to cover a specific topic, uh, please let me know. Stay tuned for the next tutorial where I will show you how you can combine VLOOKUP index match with a drop down list to set up a dynamic order form on in Excel. Just a little preview here. Well, thanks for watching. Remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net.